In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can roll back a recent update from PowerPoint 2000. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can bring back the option to insert video from website. Up until September, PowerPoint 2010 had the option, if I go to Insert, Video, it had three options here for inserting video. The third being Insert from Website, which is a convenient way to insert video from YouTube. But you notice now it's not available. So what I did is went back and undid a update and that was able to bring it back. Now I'm going to show you how to do this, but keep in mind you do this at your own risk. I've done this multiple times and with no ill effect to my computer. But again, you do this at your own risk. In fact, if you look here, here's a description of the PowerPoint update. And it's the KB2553145 update that is responsible for this change. And it's specifically the 32-bit. And if you come down here, it actually will tell you how to uninstall it. I'm going to go ahead and do it a lot simpler than how they explain it. But here also tells you what this update is. And it doesn't really give you much information. So what I'm going to do is open up my control panel. And we'll come down here to Programs, or Uninstall a Program. Now the default here is going to uninstall programs. But what I want to do is go over here to View Installed Updates. And we'll go ahead and look for that update for that Microsoft PowerPoint. I just actually reinstalled this for this tutorial, so it's right here at the top. You may have to search this list for this specific update. And here it is, the 255-3145. I'm going to select it. And we make sure PowerPoint is closed. With it selected, click Uninstall. Let's just take a few seconds and does not require you to reboot your computer. And I'm going to relaunch PowerPoint. And now if we go to Insert, Video, there it is. Now, depending on how you have your computer set up, more than likely in another couple days, Microsoft is going to reinstall that update. In fact, I just uninstalled this a few days ago without changing any settings. It reinstalled the same day. So I'm going to go over here, go to Control Panel, and I'm going to go to System and Security, and I'm going to go down to Windows Update, and I'm going to click on the Turn Automatically Updating On Off. I've now changed important updates, this drop down menu, and you have a few different options here. I select it, check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. And I said OK. I hope this tutorial helped you. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your next presentation.